Hello everybody. Uh, in this video we are going to continue the uh, bracketed methods for solving the algebraic equations uh, numerically uh, to get the solution. Um, so we're just solving one equation and one unknown. Um, and the last time we used the bisection method and this time we're going to discuss another method. It's going to be a modified method to the bisection method it's called false uh, position method. So um, the bisection method was simply um, based on a very uh, simple uh, idea which is when you have two points like these two each one of them has a uh, value of x1 x2 each one of them has um, uh, the function has uh, a sign this is positive and this is negative and because you have a change in sign so you know it passed by the x-axis and then you have a root in between these two points and what we do in this case is to get the average uh, value of x and from this point you use this new point this new x as um, a new iterative point when uh, where you um, do the uh, calculations to get the function at this x and you do the same thing you check uh, where the sign will change between x1 and x average or between x2 and x average based on uh, this criteria and then you can tell that the root is somewhere here and then you split this into two halves and then do the same process so, so on and so forth until you reach the uh, accuracy that you want um, but this, pro this uh, process has um, somehow an efficiency um, because it is uh, it, it gets to the point regardless which one of the two points that you get or you use in the beginning is closer to the root so like in this case you have x1 and x2 and x1 is way closer to the root than x2 um, and uh, in the bisection method you will just get the midpoint which does not take into account that x1 is closer and x2 is, is further um, and it will take more time to get the midpoint from here and then a midpoint from here and then get closer um, and it doesn't matter if this is closer or not so it's, it's gonna be kind of a waste of time and it will be slower conversion uh, conversions uh, in this case so in the false position method uh, it's false position I'm sorry this is a typo in the false position method you um, somehow take into account that this is uh, closer and this is further and the way it takes this into account is that the function in this case is gonna be small and this is gonna be big assuming that the further uh, point will be further from the um, uh, from, from the x-axis and what we do is we take this uh, line between the two points and then calculate the f of x now it's called xr <coughs> then you call this xu and xl and this should be XR, I'm sorry, it's another typo here. This should be XR. Um, and then um, this is the new point. And instead of getting this as an average, it's going to be the midpoint. The, the, the midpoint was somewhere here, and this is here, so it's, it's closer. Um, and the way we calculate this new point, um, this is the only difference, it's how you calculate this XR. Um, you take the similarity between these two triangles, and with the simple mathematics, you can... Uh, say that this uh, this side divided by this side equals to this side divided by this side which is this equation and by simple mathematics you can use this or reach this form so you can calculate xr based on xu xl and f of xu and f of xl which is uh, stuff that you already know um, so this this is more efficient in the general uh, cases but in some cases it does not work as efficient as, as we want so let's assume we have a function that's very very uh, high slope at this point as we see here and if we take these two points um, and of course this is the the point that's closer to the root than, than this but because the function here is very very high compared to this yeah, the, the according to the equation this would be the further this is according to the equation of course you cannot see all the points that you put because you do not have the plot of your function in in most of the cases um, so um, numerically or mathematically this would be closer or uh, further to the root while it's in an actual case it is the closer so just just to show you the the XR will be here and then you go and do another run and it's gonna be here and then so it, it, it's working but it is slow 
and if you do the bisection method here it's gonna be way faster than going with the uh, false uh, position method so it's, it's just to give you an overview of the advantages and disadvantages sometimes it works and sometimes it's not as efficient as you want so it's important to know how your function looks like and to see if this is um, the best method to use to solve this kind of function or not so to see in Excel how we do this, it's the same thing. The only difference is that uh, so you are gonna do the uh, multiplication of this, these two, and these two, and then calculate the um, put the if condition here and here based on these two values. The same way we did last time. The only difference is that this b is gonna be the xr, which is calculated from the equation that I just showed in the uh, two side slides ago. So it's whatever um, condition applies, you're gonna do uh, go for this or for that. So it's it's, it's very simple and straightforward. So let's go to Excel and see how this works. So it's the same spreadsheet, almost the same spreadsheet that we did last time. Uh, I just uh, I, I put the same conditions, of course, the uh, pressure, temperature, and the uh, ideal gas uh, uh, the um, gas constant. Um, and this is the function uh, which we used in the previous uh, video um, and this is the equation that we used to calculate the XR and this is the uh, table that we used to calculate the V uh, or the function as a function of V at different values to see where the sign will flip and to know which one of the roots is gonna be or, or where, which region will have the root and we said that <coughs> you will have something here which is not the root because we calculated the um, value of the V based on the ideal gas law to give an uh, approximation uh, to the uh, solution so uh, we found two roots in the region from 0 to 2.5 and we found that this is gonna be the closer point so we did the iterations from 2 to 2.5 or this is the two initial points of iteration um, uh, and then we calculated the function based on the ABC and uh, AB and PRT based on this equation. I'm, I'm not gonna go through all this because I, I wasted a lot of time in the previous video doing that, and it's it's just an, um, uh, a simple uh, substitution. So it's, it's it's nothing that we need to do in the video. Um, and I calculated this. Uh, um, I used this V and VU and VL to calculate the function of VU and function of G of VL. Um, and we need to calculate the VR and this is almost the only difference that we're gonna have between this case and the bisection method that we showed in the previous one um, and the question that comes now is which one of these is XR and XU and which is XL um, it doesn't matter um, whatever you want to take as XU it's gonna work uh, what you, whatever you want to take as XL it's gonna work uh, but just be consistent so it, 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 it you have a multiplication uh, I, I mean a, a subtraction here and subtraction here if you flip them in the bottom and the top it doesn't matter it's gonna be the same thing uh, but just be consistent so I'm gonna take the X uh, L as the smaller value and the uh, uh, I mean uh, XU as the VU as the smaller value and VL as the bigger value and I'm gonna be consistent with that so it's gonna be um, uh, function it's XU uh, minus function of XU multiplied by uh, XL minus XU um, and this is divided by uh, F of XL minus F of XU and you get the value of 2.15 something and just to um, make sure it's right it has to be somewhere between the two uh, values uh, between VU and VL if it's not right then you have something wrong in the equation and you need to uh, recheck it um, so this is gonna be the first iteration that we're gonna do now um, we just do the if condition and we said we're gonna do if this multiplied by this is greater than zero then this is gonna be um, this otherwise it's gonna be this and the same thing here it's if this multiplied by this is greater than zero then it's gonna be um, VR otherwise it's gonna be this so um, we're gonna calculate this the same way of course it's gonna be nothing because we have not calculated this already um, and you see it is uh, very simple and straightforward you can cal calculate the percent error it's the absolute of 
um, the V, the new minus the old divided by the new uh, and of course we'll put the percentage at the end so this is the percent error um, in the first run uh, and now we can drag this and see where we're gonna go I'm gonna stop at 22 iterations or whatever um, to see so you see it is reaching the value of 2.2095 whatever and the percent error is something to the uh, 10 to the minus 18 um, and just in 22 steps um, and if you plot this uh, what we have here um, for for the false position method against the bisection method you'll see that uh, you reach 10 to the minus 18 in 22 uh, iterations while you did 31 iterations just to reach 10 to the minus 13 in the bisection method so it's 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 converging quickly uh, to reach the same uh, convergence or the, the same accuracy you can do only 14 33 can get the or 14 steps of the bisection can give the same uh, value that you get in 33 uh, in the bisection method so it's um, it's more efficient and uh, it's faster and you can get the uh, solution uh, converging quicker than it, you can do in the bisection method um, so this is uh, all for today and I'll see you next video inshallah for the uh, non-bracketed methods uh, with the uh, fixed point method so I'll see you then and bye bye